My name is Yesenia Rodriguez. Growing up, I wasn't really aware that you could have a relationship with Jesus. It might sound strange, but for me, Jesus was something that was far away from me. I grew up in a Catholic family. I was never introduced to that. Uh, when I started coming to Eastlake and just starting reading more scripture and talking to more people about Jesus and about what it meant to be a Christian and a Jesus follower, I felt Jesus for the first time. I was like, whoa, like Jesus is here. And it changed my life dramatically. I started seeing religion a whole, in like a different perspective that I've never seen before. I'm involved in high school ministry and college ministry as well. So with high school, I lead a growth group of nine high school girls, a safe space of people where you can just come together and talk about Jesus and talk about the things that you feel passionate about and just have support. I love my girls and I'm confident that they love me too. It's just the kind of relationship that we have. I decided to make a commitment with um, the Cannonball Initiative because I realized that I was making excuses for myself. I would just tell myself like, oh, you can't give to the church right now because you're a college student or because you're broke or you'll just do it when you're older. Like you'll do it when you have a, state, a steady job, a steady income. It was like a convenience for me. Like, oh, right now, like I, ch I, I look at my wallet, I look at my bank account, it's convenient. Like I can give a couple of dollars to the church, but it was never constant. With Cannonball, I realized that it was time to stop. Like you can't keep making excuses. If you don't start doing it now, you're never going to do it. It, it doesn't matter how much money you give or if it's not your definition of enough like you're contributing to something that's a lot bigger than you. Like you're contributing to the mission of Jesus. And that's why I was like, I have to commit. Like this is something that Jesus is calling me to do. This is something that it's in the Bible. I can't just make excuses for myself and feel sorry for me when it's the right thing to do. I feel like I'm, I'm part of something bigger. Like I'm part of a bigger purpose. Like I'm part of his mission. So that definitely has changed my perspective on money. Like it's not just about like, oh, like with money you can buy like all of these amazing things. It's like, no, like with your finances, you can make a difference in the world. I just want to encourage everyone who made a commitment to not give up. I know there's times where it might seem like, oh, like I'm falling behind, like there's no use, might as well give up. Like, no, like keep going, stay strong and Jesus will come through, like you're making a difference and it's all worth it at the end. I'm very excited that as a church, we're still part of something so big as Christmas Conspiracy. Now it's just through Cannonball, through the wave of compassion, we're still making a difference. We're still um, helping those initiatives that mean so much to us. And that just makes it all worth it at the end.